Hi there and welcome. My name is Gail Porter and you've tuned into Careers TV on the cutting edge of the UK's 21st century job market. In today's programme we'll be focusing on careers in marketing. Now when we say marketing, we don't mean 400 bananas for a pound mate for you, I'll do you 401 like that. Oh what darling? Oh no city. <laughs> Not that society hasn't benefited from good deals in the tangerines, but the marketing industry we're talking about has shaped the world we live in today. Presided over by 20th century luminaries like Theodore Levitt and Edward Bernays, many would argue that without the presence of advertising hoardings on every street, TV ads on every screen and junk mail in every letterbox, the consumer society we are part of would not exist at all. Marketing is one of those terms in academia that does not have one universally agreed upon definition. So it can be described in a number of ways. From the basic practice of encouraging consumers to buy products, to the total of activities involved in the transfer of goods from the producer or seller to the consumer or buyer, including advertising, shipping, storing and selling. Have you got that? Hmm? Have you? Well, if not, we reckon it's basically the management of the whole life cycle of a product, from conception to sale. And when a product can be anything from a funky toothbrush to the latest blockbuster movie, that involves a lot of different people, from market researchers, planners and product developers, to promoters, PR and media relation experts, internet marketeers and loyalty reward managers. We're a kind of unique marketing agency because we have a number of areas of expertise that not all agencies are involved in. The first is retail sales promotion, where we're helping key clients to deliver footfall, which leads to better sales to them on the high street. There's a leading high street um, fast food, food provider is one of our clients. Uh, we also have a leading mobile phone uh, retailer. Um, so quite diverse, obviously, different needs. Um, and we're working with them to make sure that we are encouraging people to go to their shops. We're, in, we're working on their window displays, on their point of sale. And we're doing that in the case of the uh, fast food company uh, right across Europe. Um, the second area where we uh, are different and, and unusual um, is that we actually produce uh, what are called premium products. And premium products are, if you like, giveaways. In our case, it's often toys. And these toys come free with the goods that we're selling. And in fact, that makes us the biggest toy manufacturer in the world. Currently, we're producing something in the order of 1.6 billion toys every year through an operation in China and Vietnam and other countries. We're a marketing communications business. And we've got six agencies within the group and each of those agencies work in a, in a different field within the marketing industry. Uh, we're fortunate that between those six agencies we were able to cover off any marketing requirement that a business may have. So, uh, for instance, one of our agency brands is uh, Lawton, which was the founding business. And Lawton is a fully integrated on and offline marketing business, so they'll do anything from a, a TV, press, radio campaign to a a website design and build, um, there's a specialist PR team that sit within that agency um, and obviously media on and offline as well that we, that we plan and book. Lawton Management Group is, um, a, a, it does two, two or three things really. Um, the, the first and probably what most people have heard of is um, we run the Nectar programme in the UK. Uh, um, we also own the intellectual property rights to um, the Air Mars brand across the world so some people have may have heard of that as well. And we also provide um, information and analytical services to some of our big partner companies that we work with. Um, but sort of focusing on Nectar, which is what most people have heard of and, uh, and the biggest part of our business, we, um, we do two things really. We, um, we provide rewards uh, in the form of points to consumers uh, in the UK uh, and those, um, those points are issued when people spend money in certain places in the UK. And, and we work with some of the biggest companies both in the UK and, and internationally such as uh, American Express, Sainsbury's and BP. Um, and EDF Energy, where you, um, uh, where you, uh, where they provide electricity and gas supplies to uh, to UK households. So we work with some enormous uh, companies, um, uh, both in the UK, as I said, and, and uh, in, in the world actually. Um, and when they issue points, um, collectors, uh, consumers can earn points when they spend money in those places. Um, and the benefit, um, obviously, to consumers is they get extra value from uh, from from earning those points and spending money in those in those locations. But also the benefit to the companies that participate in the in the Nectar scheme um, is that they get the benefit of loyalty from those consumers 
consumers, um, but they also um, uh, receive lots of information on those consumers, so it helps them uh, uh, manage and inform the decisions they make in their businesses. All pervasive, all encompassing, all day, every day. The marketing sector is an empire on which the sun never sets. So, why go into it? For me personally, um, I decided to get into marketing and advertising when I was about 16 years old. Um, when I was at school we had to do some work experience and up until that point I had no idea what I wanted to do whatsoever. Um, and I was lucky enough to land myself some work experience in a big agency in London. And for me, the thing that really made advertising marketing stick out was the environment and the atmosphere that you're working and I came home every day really excited with something new to sell. No two days are the same and that's something that really, really appealed to me and I found it very fast paced and challenging and it sort of went beyond challenging in the fact that they challenge you in your job, it's more that they challenge you as a person and I think you get an opportunity to express yourself quite a lot. Um, you get to offer your opinions and it's just something that really, really appealed to me. I like the idea of working in marketing because it's a creative industry and I like to be creative. I've always seen adverts up and thought, hmm, I think I might be able to come up with an idea that equals that. So that's why uh, I decided to, to give it a bash and, and go into marketing. My previous uh, careers have all sort of had a creative input. I've worked as an architectural technician. Uh, interior designer, also worked as a barman in Lanzarote, which wasn't so much creative and we're probably best we don't go into that. Uh, but I'd always uh, been interested in advertising, it always appealed to me, and I suppose it was just a, a natural progression, i say with the creative, previous creative uh, careers that I had done. I suppose the fun factor also was a, a big appeal for me in the uh, advertising industry. You've had a look round and come to the conclusion that a career in marketing is the one for you. But are you the one for marketing? A subtle switcheroo of subject and objects there, but it makes a world of difference, doesn't it? What kind of person do you need to be and what kind of qualities do you need to have to succeed in the marketing biz? What we're really looking for is when we, when we get you in and we interview you, are we're looking for people that have got the right sort of attributes to do the job. Uh, and, and the right sort of understanding of what we do, what the loyalty business is all about and what is important for our partners that we work with. So I guess if we can see the potential that you've got, we understand that you're graduates, you're fresh out of uni or you've been travelling, that doesn't matter, we just need to know that you can do the job and then we'll bring you in and we'll develop you and we'll bring you on and that, that's all that we're looking for, that's what we need really. Uh, sort of three qualities I think uh, that would sort of benefit, benefit yourself in this industry it, firstly, I think if you've got a passion for the industry, that certainly helps. If you, you wake up in the morning and you think, oh God, I've got to go to work, then this isn't the industry for you. You need to wake up in the morning and want to be going to work. You need that passion. Uh, determination, drive, uh, you need that not only to just get, you, get yourself into the industry, but to work, work your way up. And I think you, you do need that sense of creativity, obviously, particularly on my side of things, obviously account, account services, even, even for account services, I still think you need that creativity and that ability. So the third, the third thing probably is uh, the ability to handle uh, pressure. And so there's a, you get an awful lot of tight deadlines in the industry, so it would certainly be beneficial. A good applicant is somebody who has got a degree, and probably in a relatively related subject, but, uh, but it doesn't have to be, uh, who have shown themselves to have done work experience or project work, and probably both, um, in the marketing industry, um, have got over the uh, initial pains of, if you like, uh, going to work and coping with working, etc. Um, we're looking for people who want to grow, uh, who are intelligent and who are adaptable. And I think those are key things that, that help us go places. And so what we look for in terms of the application form is obviously more than the basic that you might expect of an application form. Um, we're looking for people who present uh, the project work that they've done and explain the detail of that. Uh, we're looking for people where we can see a consistent record of them having done work experience and project work in the marketing arena. And also I think that show an interest in it. Um, people that come to us who have a genuine interest in the way in which marketing can help clients achieve their results and are analytical about that is usually something that impresses us.